Hey guys, Shadowjack05, finally back on the Silverjack05 channel. And guys, before I continue this video, I really want to tell you guys that I'm 100% extremely sorry for not being active for over a year, and I want to explain why. So the reason, the main reason why I haven't been active for so long is because lately there have been other things that I've really been wanting to do besides YouTube. Like, one thing is that I'm actually a musician now. Um, I play both guitar and bass. And guys, after high school and college, I really want to start my own band, be in a band. So yeah, that's pretty much why I haven't been active. Pretty much my love for music and instruments has gotten in the way of YouTube. So yeah, that's why I haven't been active for so long. And guys, once again, I'm sorry. But I do believe I said this in a previous video. Even if I have them, I'm going to say it again. Guys, I have not left YouTube officially. I will let you guys know if I ever am, all right? So yeah. Guys, just throwing it out there one more time. I'm sorry. I will try to be more active, and I will hopefully get back to plush tubing soon. Um, probably not till the summer, but at the time of me recording this, we're close to summer, so yeah. But with that out of the way, and you guys know why I haven't been active, let's start this review. So guys, today is an anime figure review, but this time it's not Naruto and it's not One Piece. Today we're reviewing figures of characters from Jujutsu Kaisen. So yeah, real quick, um, what was I going to say again? Oh, sorry. Um... So guys, when I was still active last year, I had not been watching Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, I actually first started watching this anime back around the time when 2023 first began, actually. No, sorry, that's incorrect. I started watching it around wintertime earlier this school year. So yeah, but I finished it back in either January or February, so I'm all caught up. But uh, yeah, we're doing Jujutsu Kaisen today. And yeah, so today I have three things. I have two anime heroes figures, Itadori and Kugisaki, and a Mahito Funko Pop. So yeah, I actually got these from GameStop um, not too earlier today. And I was actually surprised because I was looking at some other anime Funko Pops, and then I turned around and saw these, and I was surprised. Like, I did not think that these... That, the, that these lines of characters were going to be coming to this anime heroes line anytime soon or at all. So, yeah, I was absolutely surprised. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad they came because, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen, that's one of my go to's right now. So, yeah, I'm glad they did it. But, uh, yeah. So, first, we're going to start with Yuji Itadori from the anime heroes line. I'll review these other two in two separate videos. So, let me set them down here real quick. Okay, so real quick, this one is actually my brother's, and um, this figure is actually mine, and this Funko Pop, um, my brother and I pretty much just share this one, so yeah. But yeah, like I said, this one's just my brother's. And yeah, he let me do an unboxing video for this one, so yeah. So this is Yuji Tadori, obviously. This is actually my brother's favorite character from this anime. And believe it or not, Kugisaki is actually my favorite character from this anime. But, uh, so yeah. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get back to the unboxing. So as you can see, this is Yuji Itadori from Anime Heroes. Let's take a look at the packaging like I did in my previous anime review videos. So up there it says Jujutsu Kaisen, Anime Heroes, Yuji Itadori. And once again, I'm quite sure that does say Anime Heroes right there. Um, Got all got the figure in there with all the accessories and everything. Sorry about that. Got a cool image of him right there. That looks really cool. Um, turn it around. Once again, I do believe it says Anime Heroes right there. Jujutsu Kaisen. Anime Heroes right there. We got the back. Got the whole collection. So we got Kugisaki, Itadori, and Fushiguro. So when I was at GameStop earlier today, they actually did not have Fushiguro there. But I do eventually want to pick him up. So, yeah. So yeah, 
And that's the price I picked it up for at GameStop, almost $20. Here's the side. Just shows another cool image of him. Anime Heroes at the top, Yuji Isidori right there. There's the bottom, the whole write-up and everything. On the top just says Anime Heroes. Then on the very top just says Bandai and the warning choking hazard, everything. And uh, yeah, that's it for the packaging. So yeah, let me get this guy out of the box and then we'll get to the review. Okay, everyone, I'm back and we finally got Eats Dory out of the packaging. And so yeah, before I start, I wanna say I'm already, sorry, I'm already really liking this figure. I'm sure my brother is gonna like it. Um, yeah, I don't really have any complaints so far. It's, they've got all the uh, features of him um, correct, like his looks and everything. Everything about him is pretty much on spot, so yeah. So first off, let's take a look at the design and everything. First, you got his face. And let me see if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. His face, yeah, it looks good enough for like his look in the anime. Kind of looks a little different almost. But yeah, with this line of figures, um, a lot of the f anime characters that are in this line of figures, um, their faces tend to look a little different than when they do in the anime, but <clears throat> that's not too much of a big deal to me. But yeah, so you got his face, you got his hair. The guy's hair, right? It's all spiky, messy and everything. And I really do like his outfit. The red, all the black, I'm quite sure. Shoes and everything. I like it. This figure is amazing. So yeah, now let's take a look at articulation. So articulation, you can move his head, not really that much, because, um, <clears throat> because his turtleneck, I'm quite sure, is blocking it. But that's not too big of a deal to me. But so yeah, that's the head. You can also move the arms like this, up and down like that, backwards, forwards. They can do a 360 too, so that's cool. And they can also swivel right here at the biceps, quite sure. And also there's articulation at the elbows. They can go in that much, go out that much. Can also rotate the fists. They can do a 360. So I think that's cool. And he can swivel up the torso too. Can he do a 360? Yes, he can. Not sure why they did that, but I don't care if they, they would do that or not. Then you got the legs, they can go out that much. So he, yeah, they he can almost do the splits. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they can also swivel quite a bit. Does have articulation at the knees. Goes out in that much. And the feet do swivel that much. They can also do a 360. So yeah, I think that's cool. And so yeah, that's about it for articulation. Did I miss anything? No, I didn't. Hang on. Nope, I didn't miss anything. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the figure itself. Let me see if I can get him to stand. There we go. Yeah, sometimes these figures can get be a little hard to stand up. So yeah. But anyways, that's it for the figure itself. Let's move on to accessories. So accessories, you only get four of them. The first two are two interchangeable hands. These are the open hands. So yeah, I think they're pretty cool. And of course he already has, sorry, you get six accessories, but two of them already come attached to him, his closed fist hands. So yeah. And the last two accessories I think are the best. The Cursed Energy accessories from when he's getting ready to punch an enemy using Cursed Energy. These are really cool. They're good translucent blue. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so I don't really consider this a complaint. This is just something I wish they would have included. I really do wish they would have included this Itadori figure with um, an accessory of Black Flash. Because, yeah, I think that would have been cool. But hey, it is what it is. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, real quick, I want to see how he looks with the Cursed Energy accessories on. They can fit on quite easily. 
Let's see. So yeah, he looks really cool. It almost kind of looks like he's wearing boxing gloves from this angle. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah guys, that is Yuji Itadori. And yeah, I really like this figure and I'm still quite sure my brother's gonna like it, so yeah. But anyways guys, yeah, so that's it for this review. And in just a few minutes, I'll be reviewing uh, Nobara Kugisaki which is my figure and my favorite character from this anime. And so yeah, I'll see you guys then.